What's up? This is Dangerous of the Dope Boys. I'll explain how I edited my voice to make it sound like a robot computerized. So, let me show you this here real quick. Okay, let's listen to the rough vocals first. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. This is what it sounds like recorded with no effects on it. I've doubled it. That's what I always like to do with vocals in general. I like to double them and pan them to the left and to the right. And I already tuned those, so they sound like maybe not like that kind of a bad singer. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. So the doubling gives, gives it this stereo effect. Now let's get to the FX. Um, right here I've added a gate first because I had those little bleedings in there from the beat in the background. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Makes everything just sound a bit more upfront. Um, then I had this, like, just like I said, this computerized robot sound in mind. Um, and I thought how I can achieve this kind of effect. So the first thing I added was this octaver to add a low octave. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. That was the first step. The next thing I did was a flanger. And the flanger just like synthesizes the sound a bit more. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. To give it this, I don't know, weird kind of sound. Um, the next thing I did was added a bit crusher, and this is where it gets really interesting. And um, I set the mode to 1, sample divider to 11, and the depth to 14.3. And I usually just play around with these effects. I don't exactly know what they do and like how it will sound like when I put this sample divider to 11, for example. I just play around and see what I get. And um, this really made it sound kind of computerized. So I would really s recommend this effect if you try to achieve similar vo kind of voices. <laughs> The next thing I added was a camel crusher, because I don't know if you can hear it in the recording, but it sounded kind of harsh. And the camel crusher is a great filter tool, by the way, I would, and it's completely for free. You can download it from the camelaudio.com website. Um, and this just cuts off the highs a, a little bit to like make it sound a little cleaner, maybe. thing I added was a compressor. And this is our Vox compressor by the way to make it sound a little bit more punchy, a little bit more louder and to like even the dynamics a little bit. And the last effect was is a mono delay and this just adds a little bit of delay on top of the sound. make it sit a little bit better in the mix. And what I finally did was with the two uh, sounds, I rooted them into the voice group, I call it vocals, and right here I added another Arvox compressor, which just glues the two sounds together a bit. And the last thing I added was this EQ right here, it just cuts the bass out a little bit, because in the final mix I decided that I don't want to have this much bass in the sound and here it just adds a little bit, a little bit more highs on top to give it this clean, bright kind of thing. Um, now let's listen to the final voice. <laughs> Now you really can't tell if this was me, I think. It just sounds completely computerized. And, and what I also found out was that I can take those small bits of sound and um, rearrange them and tune them differently so that I can like play around with the notes that this computer voice does. So let me show you this real quick. <laughs> 
something like that maybe.